What is up, everybody? This is Night Shift, and I'm back for episode 5, week 4 of my UMass Dynasty. And there's not a lot of recruiting left to show you guys. There's only about 5 minutes of recruiting before I get to the gameplay. And uh, it's going to probably be like that for the rest of the season. So I'm going to be able to uh, do these episodes a little bit faster and have it be a lot shorter, which is good news. Alright, so as you can see, I'm going to finish up with my scouting. I'm going to always show you guys what I do with my scouting. As long as there's something to scout, I'll show you guys. And uh, right now we're going to finish up with all of the uh, cornerbacks. And see which ones are going to be worth trying to get and which ones I should just let go. So, we've got guys like uh, this guy is not looking so great. He actually got worse. And... He was kind of slow, and this guy as well, he got worse, and he's a little bit slower than the other guys too, so we're going to knock both of these guys off the list, we're not going to need them, and after that, now we're going to go and do um, the kicker and punter, and the kicker looks like kind of a long shot since I'm in like, uh, what, 7th place, but he still does not have a scholarship offer, which makes me still think that I might have a shot. And he's only in his top eight, so punter's probably mine. I just do scholarship offer, and uh, I'm gonna pick him up probably pretty easily. And we'll see if we can't get this uh, kicker to start liking us a little bit better. So after the kicker and punter, now we're gonna do uh, ten minutes on everybody just like usual. We'll finish up with the promises. And also I wanted to always show you guys when I sign somebody. So when you make an off or when you talk to somebody, sometimes they sign. So go ahead. We're going to sign this guy. That's going to be our second guy. And uh, that's where I'm at so far. Got two guys already. And I'm not going to show you guys, but just fast forward through 10 minutes on all those guys up to the top 15. All right. I'm just going to show you, like the quarterback, he's ready for a visit, so instead of 40 minutes, he gets 50 minutes, and we're going to schedule everybody for week four against Boston College, because they are our rival, and whenever you schedule uh, visits, you should always do them against rivals. If you can get your rivalry game on TV, it's even better, but definitely always try to do it against a rival. It uh, increases the grades. Um, a lot. So, I'm going to make sure you're going to see everybody's going to be visiting in week four. Like I just fast forwarded again. Um, all those guys just mindlessly um, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Everybody that's in first place, you see. Alright, now you're going to see me do the two D tackles. It looks like I got a better shot at Kelly than Smith, but uh, you never know. So, both of them are visiting this week. So we're gonna give them we're gonna give forty minutes to Kelly because it looks like I'm in a little bit better shape on him. I'm only down forty points. However, he doesn't like me as much as Smith does. So I'm not sure yet. So with Smith, I think we're just gonna go with about twenty minutes. I don't want to waste too much time on him. And um, I'll make sure we get both of them to visit and get their stuff done. I'm also in third place with Smith behind LSU and Texas. It looks like it's going to be a tough sell. Actually, he didn't look like he was too that all that interested in me either. So you never know, though. It's still possible. And as long as we are the one scholarship offer, then uh, that's good. All right, now you guys are going to notice that I'm finally getting into those few people that I picked up uh, a couple of weeks ago. I have a couple, of, I have 40 extra minutes. So, this guy I'm not so thrilled about, and I accidentally hit him. So I just spent 10 minutes on him, whatever. I didn't want to offer him a scholarship, just in case he took it. So, we're going to offer a scholarship to Thompson. I like him. I'm also kind of liking this Mitchell guy. Um, so we're going to offer him a scholarship. And I'll go with Spence always like to get free safeties and 
just see what happens with them. All right, now we're gonna move ahead to the game. So uh, this week we're gonna be playing against. Actually, I forgot who I was playing against. <laughs> Boston College. Okay, so this week we're playing against Boston College. They're three and zero going into this game, so it could be kind of a tough one. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna start out. I'm gonna show you guys. This almost never happens to me. A three and out on the first drive of the game. Only well, 30 seconds. Alright, so this is my first play on defense. After the three and out right at the beginning. Look at that. We're just going to get an interception. Get the ball right back. And couldn't ask for anything better for my defense. So now we're going to go with our normal strategy. Run it. And run it. And what are we going to do this time? Oh. We're going to run it again. So run it, run it, run it again. And then after you run it, run it, run it again, that opens up the big play action. And usually this is what happens. Wide open for the touchdown. Got to love it. Run it, run it, run it, and then play action. All right, so check out the upcoming schedule. We got Buffalo and Kent State not looking like um, anything too big of a deal coming up. They don't look too great. But uh, I just want to show you guys the upcoming schedule for what's, uh, what's coming up. And I wanted to show you guys this one because that was third down. Or that's going to create a third and six. That was a play right before this. And instead of the interception on the previous play, we're going to give up a huge play on that double move. And uh, that's going to create this uh, short touchdown run. Which kind of sucks because, you know, the ball was right in his hands and he dropped it. And instead, it's a 7-7 game. All right. So, picking up back on defense. Um, third and 15, my own, my own end. I complete it, but I'm short. And whenever I'm around midfield between the 40s, I always like to go for it. And it looks like I got a good number advantage here on the left. And I do. And I'll convert that uh, fourth down. All right. Now, here's another fourth down right in the middle of the field a few plays later. 35 seconds ago, I'm going to decide to go for this. And as you can see, Blanche Flower was wide open, and I made a terrible throw. And that was a very bad decision. Or play, which would lead to them having a chance. But look at Ed Saintville coming up big, the interception. And we're just going to run it out to the half. So let's take the 7-7 game into the half. And, uh, I don't know, I'm not too happy with it. I'm not thrilled, but whatever. I'm going to show you guys the standings while we're at halftime. I'm 2-0. Toledo's 3-0. Main competition. Everybody else is not really doing so hot. But it's to be expected. We're in the MAC. Alright, so coming back from halftime. I'm going to pick it up on second and seven. Second play of the half. And they're going to come up with a nice, uh, nice big play right there. And follow that up a few plays later with another big play. And I'm going to end up getting a stop to fourth down, and they're going to kick the field goal, take 10-7 lead. Alright, now I'm going to pick it up on the ensuing drive, and we're going to go back to basics, and just start running the ball. At this point you can see, Rodnax has only 7 rush attempts into going into the third quarter. Let's see what we can do about that. And we're just going to, I'm actually going to show this almost this entire drive, you're going to notice as I just keep running the ball and Rodnax has pretty good stamina so I'm going to be able to keep using it for most of these plays as you can see for one play we're going to get the backup day in there and he's going to pick up a big first down on first and ten so as you can see I wanted to show this entire drive it's play after play of this drive just one after another and we're going to take a little break here for the third quarter I just like to show these um, going 10-7 going into the fourth quarter so it's gonna be a comeback so here we're gonna get to third and one and I'm not gonna break off from what I'm doing I'm just going to keep running it because it's working and it just keeps working so we're gonna keep running it and the more I run it the more time I can knock off that clock making it uh, easier to win the game now you guys are gonna notice that I'm finally gonna pass it and we're going to get a touchdown out of Blanche Flower, which you know he's my favorite target this year. 
and nine plays, 81 yards, four and a half minutes later, got ourselves a touchdown. And as you guys can see, we're up to 55 in the rankings. So we are moving on up slowly but surely. All right, now we're going to pick it up on third and 12. This looks like their last best chance, and he's going to complete it, but it's going to be short. And surprisingly enough, the computer elects to punt it here. I don't know if I would, but uh, now with two minutes to go, all it's going to take is a couple of first downs, and this one's going to be in the bag. So Brodnack's going to come up with a big first down on the first play. Now we're going to have third and two here. And if we convert this, it's going to be over. Oh, but we're going to get stopped. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to spread them out and do a QB draw. Not really. I'm going to try to get them to jump. But nobody jumps, so I'm going to have to call a timeout. But instead of punting, I decide, you know what? I've been running it all over them all day. So instead of going back on defense, let's try and see what happens. And I end up converting it. And then we're going to get in victory formation, kneel out the clock. And that's your ball game. So we're going to take a 14 to 10 victory with a fourth quarter comeback in the rivalry game. You guys check out the play of the game. There's the play action to Michael. And Brodnax is going to be the player of the game. And we got up to 18 carries for over 100 yards. And as you guys remember, it's a rivalry game. And there's the win. So check out the stats a little bit. We only completed five passes for the whole game for 80 yards. But he did get two touchdowns. And a paddle. Broadnax had 18. If you remember, he only had seven right in the middle of the third quarter. And Michael had two catches. Blanche Flower also had two catches. And let's see. Had a couple of pancakes from Blanche Flower. And you can see we had the two interceptions from Smith and St. Bill. That definitely helped out on defense. And. That's going to pretty much be it for this episode, guys. Um, I'll try not to let it be too long before the next one. So, catch me next time. Peace.